Huh? What are you doing? Say I'm just snooping. I'm just snooping. I'm just being nosy. Does he look terrified? Probably. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be just a fun little thing. I'm waiting for some stuff to come in for product reviews. Kind of got a little behind in my life. Um, here is one. So I have a few more coming in. So I kind of want to wait for those to come in until I start filming everything. Because some of them might go together. Might do them all separate. Don't really know yet. But today's video is going to be something that I love watching just because I'm such a nosy person. Ugh, it's so bad because I will literally stand at the peephole at my door and like, what's going on? Who are you? You weren't here yet. You know, trying to figure out what's going on in the hallway. It's so bad. I have a problem. I know I'm seeking help. I got it. So today is a what is in my bag video. I always love watching these again just because I'm a very nosy individual. All right, so we're gonna dive right into this bad baby. So I have a purse backpack sort of thing going on here. I normally love the shoulder bags but they normally ha end up in the crook of my arm or they hurt my shoulder or I have them when I'm like shopping, like hardcore shopping and they're just in the way. So we live up here in Seattle and everyone had a backpack purse and I was like, why have I never thought of that? Bought one one day, this is actually my second one. My first one was black and fell in love. You have so much freedom with your hands when your purse is on your back. Like, I get it. I understand. So this is just a Kenneth Cole reaction purse. It is taupe with silver hardware. So nothing too fancy, nothing too special. I got this at TJ Maxx. Ooh, <laughs> dropping it. It has the two little zippers on the front. These are functional. Um, they do go places, but I do not use them simply because I like the fact that the front looks so flat and seamless and pretty and I don't want to like throw crap in there and make it all lumpy and bumpy and blah. So, dun, 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 dun. it does have a little clasp, no zippers, no nothing, it just claps, clasps shut it is magnetic so it's pretty strong the sides have um, little fastens so it can shrink or go bigger i generally keep these fastened but if there's like a lot of crap in there one day these will pop open all right man i have a lot of crap first and foremost um, is my phone. Normally, if this is not in my purse, it is going to be in my back pocket or somewhere on my person just because it is kind of difficult to like take this off your back, dig for your purse, put this back on your back. It's not worth it. So this is normally on my person. Um, quick side note, if you haven't discovered pop sockets, what are you doing with your life? So we're going to start in this little side pocket area. Um, my badge, not gonna show too much of that, figure out where I work. Next, we have some Blistex Anti-Aging Deep Renewal Treatment. Favorite chapstick in the whole wide world. Like, it's almost gone. Favorite chapstick ever. I have some headphones for my phone with a little adapter because Apple decided to take away the AUX outlet. Just making my life more difficult, more crap I have to keep up with. A pen, can never have too many pens. 
a spare key fob to my husband's car in case I feel like stealing his car one day. And this is a little fortune cookie pouch. And if you pop it open inside, it has a little elephant. Just a cute little elephant. Um, my husband and my saying is elephant shoes. So anytime we leave each other or just anything really, we'll just walk up to each other and be like elephant shoes. So we would walk around saying elephant shoes because whenever you mouth, I love you. So it looks like elephant shoes. So that's just our little thing. So I carry a little around. I carry around a little elephant. He has one too that he keeps in his wallet. Just a little reminder, you know, that we love each other. Aww. Moving on. Ooh, money. Didn't know I had money. So this is a uh, nickel, a quarter, a dime, a nickel, a dime, a quarter, and three pennies. I'm rich. Need nothing else in my life. I got, what do I got? 50, 60, 70, 75. I have 78 cents. I can retire, man. Okay, next is my wallet. It is this beautiful baby blue color with gold hardware. Not quite sure who this is by. It's like a weird name. Adrian Vitani? Vitani? I don't know, I will zoom in on that since I suck at names. So that's who it's by, I, TJ Maxx, I don't know. A bunch of crap inside, as you can tell. Uh, credit cards, debit cards, money. I have $25 to my name right now. Um, Driver's license, whole bunch of receipts. Let's we'll see, what did I buy? So I can even. Um, commissary, bought groceries, Costco, um, gas, Costco. I just bought a new tire because me and the curb play chicken. I lost. Costco. This side is like a whole bunch of gift cards, things like that, that I got for Christmas. Um, Target. I got this from my job because I'm awesome. Uh, not really. I just had, I had perfect attendance for the quarter, so I got a gift card. Um, Old Navy, Home Goods, Michaels. On this side, we have Sephora, and then three Starbucks, and then like just a Visa gift card, Nordstrom. I have a gift card to get my nails done, and then this little pocket. It's just a whole bunch of the things that you don't really use every day, like Fred Meyer rewards, um, CPR certification, you know, just stuff that's good to have on you, but you don't really use every day, like business cards, a whole bunch of business cards, mini diploma. My school gives mini diplomas. Like, this is my diploma in mini form. Um, I also have like an act, like a legit diploma, but I just carry this around in case, you know. Because it's freaking cool. Who needs a mini diploma? <laughs> Me. Um, roadside assistant stuff. Money that I'm hiding from myself so I don't spend it because this is date night money. <gasps> and a quarter. Man, I am racking up here. I should go through my purse all the time. Gonna put all this other change in there with my quarter. Rich. It does have the little zipper on the side. I don't really use this again for the same reason as the purse i don't like this to get super bulky because i like it to be as thin as possible can't really do that with all my crap in there right now moving on we have some perfume this is the victoria by victoria's secret didn't even know this was in here if you just need a quick freshen up <coughs> Ooh, that's turned 
You know how when perfume gets to a point and it like smells just like alcohol? We're there. I wonder how long that's been in there. Gloves, because I do live in Washington. It is freezing up here. Can never, you know, be too prepared. So these are just like some little North Face gloves. They don't have the finger. I got some with the finger on it for Christmas. I need to put those in there so I can like play on my phone. That would be smart, right? Another receipt from Target. And a selfie stick. Can never be too prepared for a selfie. Next is some lotion from Bath & Body. This is the Mint Leaf and Bergamot Natural Peppermint Oil Olive Oil Body Cream. This is from their essential oil line. I cannot find this anymore. And it smells amazing. They had a body wash, a body lotion, and a scrub. And I'm, I got some more scrub for, um, what's that holiday? Christmas. I got some body cream, I think, for Christmas. I didn't get any more body wash, and I think they're gone. Like, cannot find them. So, if this still exists, and you see it, let me know where I can grab it. This is just a little, um, like, nail kit. It has tweezers, a file, a cuticle thing, two sets of clippers, and some scissors. You guys, you would not believe how handy this thing comes in like I cannot tell you how many times I whip this thing out just for like clippers or tweezers or scissors now don't get me wrong the scissors suck like don't try to cut anything major but it'll get the job done another receipt man Dollar Tree I just throw crap in here. This is a keychain. This used to be on my keys. It's not anymore. Obviously, it's paracord. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Hand sanitizer. This is the stress relief from you. It's all gunky. That's gross. So, got some hand sanitizer. I never put these on the outside of my purse just because I always lose them. So, I just started putting it in my purse. Don't know why I need it on this thing. I guess it could just be like the regular. But it's so cute. I mean, look at it. It's, it's so cute and sparkly. Oh my god! More money! Man, I am racking up here. I got seven cents. Last but not least is the bag. So this bag has a little bit of everything in it. It is reversible sequin from black to gold. It's gorgeous. I love it. It is from Victoria's Secret. I think I got this right when the whole mermaid sequin phase started. So probably about two years ago. It was on sale at Victoria's Secret snatched it up um so this is pretty much where all the girl products are so they're not like all over my purse they're just in one space so there's pretty much a full face of makeup in here and probably any type of medication you would need so um let's go through the makeup first because it is on top i have a foundation so this is the maybelline dream velvet foundation in shade ivory the poor professional by benefit brows this is the gimme brow by benefit um we have some powder so this is the covergirl ready set gorgeous powder in 105 fair then i also have a bare minerals translucent powder just because you never know what you're going to need. Next, there is a bronzer. So this is the Victoria's Secret Baked Mineral Bronzing Powder. It's just, I think I bought this when I bought the bag because it was on sale. And then also a Victoria's Secret Highlighter. Again, it was on sale. Just ready to have. Then a little tart blush in the shade Thrilled. So still a blush. We have the Mally Instant Impact Mascara. 
I have some eyeshadow. This is like an eyeshadow stick. It is the Tarte Colored Clay in Matte Slate. So just to put a little something something on the eyes. I have a little two ended brush. This is a Mally brush I believe. So a fluffy end for powder. A more contoured end. And then a little um, foundation brush. Setting spray. This is by Urban Decay. The D Slick Setting Spray. Then I have a variety of lipstick options. Um, they're all nude. Digging on in here, I have eye makeup removers. Um, they're like the little Q-tips that you break apart and like liquid it goes into the end. Some Tweezer Man tweezers, just because sometimes the tweezers in this little case aren't that great. So I have these in there also. Tied to go pin. You never know with me, I'm completely messy some blotting pads. All right, you guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video so, so much. Um, it is a little bit different than what I plan on doing. I do plan on doing like more product review stuff, but you know, just having a little fun, just switching up a little bit, just feeling the waters, swimming around, playing Marco Polo. Marco! Polo! You know, just reaching my tentacles out. Like I said, I have some stuff on order that I am waiting to come in to do reviews on. So just love me through it until all that stuff comes in. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you later. Bye.